Today we're going to be talking about Mogarts. Mogart. Mogart. Mogart? M-O-G-R-T. Motion graphic templates. Let's go. So if you're like me and you use Premiere Pro, I don't know if there's a final cut version of what these are, but in Premiere Pro, there's these things called Mogarts, M-O-G-R-T, Motion Graphic Templates. You usually create it in another Adobe program called After Effects, and then you can export it directly into Premiere Pro, and it becomes this motion or animated template that you can edit in Premiere Pro without having to go into After Effects. I know how to use After Effects, so I've created some of my own Mogarts or motion graphic templates before, but I've also, I've cut some corners and I've purchased Mogart files from other developers or other people that have provided them. And sometimes, although they are super customizable, you can change colors, change scale, you can change the font, sometimes you can get ones that you're just like, oh, I wish I could change the font in that one. I wish I could change the color of this particular piece. I wish I could move this here. Just sometimes they leave out certain little bits that you can't customize. I recently downloaded Matty Hapuya, hopefully I'm saying his second name right, Hapuya. I recently downloaded his Mogart files. He has a second package. He's got two packages that he has released and they're really, really good. Really, really like them. I like the style of animation. But I went to use one the other day and although, as I said, it's super customizable, I actually couldn't change the font. So I was like, hmm, how do I go about changing the font? So. I'm going to show you a way that you can actually edit Mogart files that you get or purchase from other people, not to be distributed or sold by yourself, but if you just want to make them a little bit more customizable, here's a trick on how to do it. Now, disclaimer, you will need to know a little bit about After Effects to be able to do this, but if you just follow along the exact same steps as I've done, you should be fine. It's a little bit scary for some people, but we're going to jump into After Effects and then I'm going to show you in Premiere Pro how my little changes affected it being more customizable. Let's go. So by now you must be fairly familiar with Premiere Pro and for this, I just have the windows open that I need open to show you how to do this. There's obviously the program window, that's what you see on your timeline, you have the timeline, and then you have this window called Essential Graphics. Now don't panic if you don't see Essential Graphics open, just go up to the menu up here, go to Window, and then click Essential Graphics. So when you have Essential Graphics open, you can go to Browse, and this is where all your Mogart or Motion Graphic templates are stored or located. So I'm going to search for a Mati Hapuya Mogart, and I know there's a particular one that you can't change the color of the box, so it's these particular ones. So click and drag that Mogart file onto your timeline, put it anywhere for the moment. It's a little too big, it's actually a 4K file, so if I go Shift S, I have that set as a shortcut key to fit to screen. It's a bit more of a manageable size. Over here in your sensor graphics window, if you're not already on it, click edit. As you can see here, this is where you do all your customizing when it comes to the motion graphic template. So if I just put my name, for instance, you'll see that it changes in this little box. But as you can see, it's fairly customizable. You can change the font to whatever you want, font size. You can change the width of the actual box itself. Now I know that these are dynamic. So they actually scale to the size of what you've put in the box. You can also change the height of the box if you want it a little bit higher. You can always round the corners a bit more or make it a little bit more square, whatever you like to do. But in this instance, say I don't want it to be a black box. As you can see, you can't actually change the color of the box. You can't even change the color of the font. So those are two things I wanna add to be able to be changed, the color of the box and the color of the font. So we navigate to the folder that has all the Mogart files. 14.3, there it is. So highlight it, go to rename the file, get rid of the M-O-G-R-T at the end and put Z-I-P, as in a zip file. You use zip, double click. That will open this other folder that has a few other files. The one that says Project AE Graphic, do the very same. Get rid of the AE Graphic and put zip. Go use zip, double click again. And now you've accessed the After Effects file. Double click this. Now the file has opened in After Effects. If we go over to Essential Graphics, which is also in After Effects, again, if it's not open, don't panic. Go up to the menu, go to Window, 
Essential Graphics and it'll open. So as you can see here, these are the elements that you're able to customize in Premiere Pro. This is like a nested clip in Premiere Pro. It's a composition or pre-composition. If you double click, it will open all the files for this graphic. So if you go and click over in your Essential Graphics window, go Solo Supported Properties, it'll show you every element that's able to be customizable and brought into the Essential Graphics box to then be able to edit it in Premiere Pro. But the two things that I want to be able to do is change the color of the font and change the color of the box. At the moment when you click Solo Supported Properties, there isn't an option to change the color for the font. There is for the shape. So I'll just show you here. If you look down under Fill, Color, it's black. If I just show you an example, change it to red. That little, so the arrow bit and the main box are two separate items. I'll just go Command Z to go back on that. And if I scroll down another little bit, this is the main shape. And if I go to fill, go color, show you by changing the color of this, and you can see that it's red. Just undo that. So those two we will drag into our essential graphics window. So this is the main color of the main box. If you can highlight color, click and drag and bring it into the essential graphics box. Now you can change the name of the particular element. So this is main box color. And the next one then is going to be the pointer color. So same again, highlighted, click and drag, pointer color. Now we need to be able to change the color of the text. And as I said, that element or that, that element isn't available in the text object. So if we go over to effects and presets and type in fill in the generate option, click fill, click and drag and place it on the text. Now it's gone red, don't panic. If we click effects then and click fill, you'll see that color box is there. So we'll just change that back to white. If we go back to the central graphics window, highlight color, click and drag. I'm gonna put it up closer to the text so I know that it's related to the text. And I'm also gonna name it text color. Those are the three things I wanted to add to be able to customize it when it's in Premiere Pro. We're gonna go Command Save to save the project. Now all you have to do is go Export Motion Graphics Template. It does its thing, goes Local Templates Folder, just go OK. Do you want to replace it? Yes, because we're just updating the current one that's there, and boom. If we go back into Premiere Pro, we go to Edit, you won't see that it's there yet, but if you just delete that, navigate to that particular item again, drag that onto your timeline, scale it down, and you can see here, text color, main box color, pointer color. So if we change that to red, change that to red, change that to black, you now are able to customize the box colors as well as the other customizable features that were already there. So there you have it guys, and that is how you edit a Mogart file to make it that little bit more customizable. If you want to change a font or if you want to change a color, if you want to change this or that. This is a really quick and simple way to edit a Mogart file that you have purchased or gotten from somebody else that just doesn't have some of the things that you want to change. And that's fine. They are still fantastic Mogart files, Matthew Apulia's. I've got both his factions and they're excellent. I've also got Peter McKinnon's. I'm just a big fan of both of them. So I will link both of their stuff below, but I'm sure if anybody knows of any other really good Mogart packages, link them below as well. I'd love to know your favorite ones. So I hope this little tutorial was helpful. It definitely was for me when I figured out how to do it. And it's been a life changer when it comes to editing in Premiere Pro, when I want to use one of those templates. Until the next video guys, like, subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. That's literally what Becky and Chris say in their videos. It's exactly what you need to do if you wanna know when I upload new videos. So I don't know how to rephrase it, okay? Don't shoot me. Anyway, till the next video guys, toodles. <laughs>